So cotton candy, I would say, is our most well-known variety, at least from the consumers, the public's uh, perspective. It's, I think, the one that uh, that people most most know and associate with with IFG. So I'd say its standout feature is that it has a, a very strong, unique flavor. Um, it actually tastes tastes quite a bit like cotton candy. So one thing IFG has done is that we have um, we have introduced uh, more strongly flavored seedless grapes into the market. And so cotton candy was the first one that we introduced. Um, so it's been out over, over 10 years now. It's notable for, I guess, a couple reasons. One, just the, the flavor itself is very strong. It's very different compared to traditional grapes. Um, and it's also, I'd say, the probably the best example or the first example of a table grape in the marketplace that is sold and recognized by its name. You know, it, it, it does well on the market and growers are able to get a higher price for it, sort of as a premium product. Um, and then we also have, you know, we have our, our quality team in all of the major grape producing regions of the world. So that's something that they monitor and, you know, make sure that if someone's growing cotton candy or one of our other flavored varieties to make sure that it's, you know, it actually tastes the way it's supposed to. So cotton candy, I'd say it's moderately vigorous. It's a you know, fairly productive variety. It's got pretty large bunches. Um, it does thin and, and size fairly easily with, uh, with uh, GA treatments. Um, this is a you know, typical bunch size, I would say, and this has not been tipped or anything like that. So it kind of shows you the fairly large bunches. We find for the flavored varieties that sometimes you can start losing the flavor if you get them too big. So we, we encourage people to be somewhat uh, conservative in terms of what their, their cultural treatments are, not, not try to blow them up too, too big. Normally people consider like the yellowish fruit to be a little bit of a defect, but with cotton candy you don't normally get the nice flavor until you start seeing a little bit of yellowishness to the fruit. You know, so the, the name really goes well with, with the flavor and I think because of that people have you know, kind of gotten to know it, know it really well.